Today we're leaving Pitt Meadows and flying about an hour and a half over to Campbell River to rub shoulders with some long-time aviation pros. We're going to jump into the Haviland Beaver and head to some obscure coastal outposts. Then we'll head back to Pitt Meadows where we'll meet some of the characters who make hanging around an airport a full-time occupation. It's no surprise why I like Campbell River. Being halfway up the eastern coast of Vancouver Island, it's got one foot in the modern world to the south and the other one firmly planted in the untamed wilderness of the north. It's also a real aviation hub with a seaplane base right down on the salt chuck and a busy regional airport 20 minutes from downtown. This is a cool thing that every airport owner needs to have if you've got a private area that's locked up. It's a gate that's run off a of frequency on the radio. You put the right frequency in, you key the mic the right amount of times, and the gate opens. Look at that. How cool is that? I'd say uber cool. Vancouver Island Air is poised to reach a milestone. Next year they will become the longest lasting air charter company under single ownership in Campbell River history. Now that may not sound like much, but considering the number of operators who've come and gone from the spit, it's a unique achievement. We catch up with its founder, Larry Langford. I got my uh, private license with Air Cadets when I was 16. And just carried on from there. And I started my commercial when I was 18. And I uh, had thought about the big airlines, like everybody does, and came out to the coast here, finished off my uh, commercial, and started to work on the dock. As a matter of fact, it's a dock just down there back in uh, 1972. So I haven't moved very far in that time. See, a, it's about, uh, let me see, about 100 and, 150 feet. So we could call it laterally upward movement. Well, sort of. I worked for the airlines here for a number of years, a uh, number of companies. We had a big downturn and AirBC came along and bought up a lot of the companies. And amalgamated a lot of the services and a lot of people were out of work. So I ended up over in the West Coast flying out of Tassos for two and a half years. And at that time working away, I had to make a decision. Uh, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? Uh, Flying isn't working out very well, working away from home. Talked to another individual and we decided that uh, we would put our money in the pot and buy an aircraft and start a charter service. And the company grew. We had a variety of aircraft, 180, 185 uh, Beaver, and then uh, our customers were wanting a larger airplane. So we opted for the beach in 89, went back east and bought one and uh, headed into service in 1990. And then we got a second one, a third one, and a fourth one. And as the clientele has changed and the, uh, the needs of some of our customers have changed, we've found that uh, we need larger aircraft. And that's why we are now into a, uh, a turbine honor. So it's, it's constantly changing. It never stays the same. What's the secret to you and Vancouver Island Air that's proven your sustainability? I believe it's one of the longest lasting companies in this bit. We hire good people, knowledgeable, experienced people. Uh, we've had a lot of long-time staff, over 20 years. We concentrate a lot on the service end of it, getting to know your customers, providing good service, and good maintenance on the aircraft. Make sure you've got good dispatch reliability, knowledgeable, experienced people who enjoy what they're doing. So it's just, there's no real big secret. We have to talk about the Beach 18 on floats. It's a unique piece of equipment. People love it. Tell me more about it. What kind of an aircraft is it on floats? Well, if you get pilots that have flown a lot of equipment, most of them would prefer the beach because it is quite fast. It's very stable. It doesn't bounce around a lot in, in turbulence. Uh, good takeoff performance, good climb performance. It's like the sports car of the, uh, the aviation world on floats. Crew is about 130 knots for our normal operations. Uh, Beaver is about 100 knots. So, in a headwind after a long day, it's nice to get home a little faster. <laughs> 
nice thing about this type of business is you're home every night. And what better place? I mean, you want to work in downtown Vancouver or here? <laughs> so there, uh, there's a lot of benefits to owning your own business. As you can see here, we have to start hiring some younger people because all the pilots, let me see, what's the average age? It must be, <laughs> except for, for Pete, he's, I think he's in his mid 40s, but the rest of us are 60 plus, so. How much time you got on floats? Uh, 7.2 hours. 7.2 hours. Well, put your resume in. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> Don't even tease me. Don't even start. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Flying Fever when Wings Over Canada returns. DVD copies of the Wings Over Canada series are available singly or in box sets at wingsovercanada.ca or at 1-866-909-4647.